Hi everybody, I'm Sneha Niki and I got AIR 18 year 2021. In my second attempt, I had also given GATE in year 2020 in my final year. At that time, I got an AIR of 2400, which was not good enough to get me admission into any good IIT. So I dropped one year and got AIR 18 the next time. Currently, I'm doing my master's from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. So um, this video is basically about the mistakes that I did in my first attempt. In my While preparing for the second time, I realized that I had done some very, you know, stupid mistakes. So as there's a saying that learn from your mistakes. But I say, why learn from your mistakes if you can learn from others? So this video is all about the mistakes that I did while preparing for GATE CIC. So I thought that this will be helpful for the uh, GATE aspirants who are preparing for you know upcoming years. So without further ado, let's begin. So the number one mistake of mine was that although I had started preparing from the end of my second year, but my pace was too slow. As I thought that I am, I have started preparing so early that I had a lot of time in my hand. Uh, this was my thinking. I, I think that backfired me because at the by the end of December 2019, I was struggling to, you know, cover all the topics of all the subjects. You know, I was struggling to complete my notes. So I had very less time in my hand for revision and solving question. So this was my first and foremost uh, mistake that I felt because for cracking gate most many of the students think that you at least need one or two years time spent to prepare for gate but i don't think that is true because if you are an average student like me so i have seen many average student uh, getting two digit rank and getting into good iits or iac uh, by just preparing for nine months like nine months you prepare rigorously Okay, that is more than enough to get you into good IIT. My second mistake was that I thought that I had studied all the subject with great depth. So, you know, giving the gate exam would be a cakewalk for me, which is not true because for cracking gate, you don't need that much depth of knowledge. All you need is a good strategy, the smart one. I mean, have, have, you know, you should know all the topics and you should have solved all the questions from this, you know, those topics, like do as many as PYQs as possible. I can't emphasize on this enough, but do as many as questions as possible. You know, cover your, cover your theory. Don't uh, get stuck if you are not uh, able to understand any small topic, you know, maybe that is not important. Maybe you don't find any question in whole PYQs from that topic. So don't stuck, just complete your all the lectures that you have once, make proper notes and then do as many questions as possible. This is one thing that I believe I did not did in my first attempt and I would want all the future aspirants to do as many as questions as possible. So the next mistake that I did was in my first attempt, I was able to solve around 50% of PYQs. Like the PYQs that I have touched, about 50% of those I was able to solve by myself. And the half, 50% of the questions I was able to understand, like their solution, I was able to understand. So I misconstrued it, that thinking that I'm able to, you know, understand the solution. So like I have covered those questions as well, but that's not true. Reading any solution and you know understanding that is different than actually solving the question because most of the most of the time you must have uh, done this in your math you know math preparation in your school or anywhere like we just before giving the exam the uh, previous day we'll just see how those questions are done like da, 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 da. <laughs> and thinking that we have covered all the questions but it is really different when you actually solve the question right because you tend to forget things but if you solve them you have actually done that question so this is my next 
mistake that I have done. My next mistake was that I had not planned my you know strategy for the gate exam beforehand. Like I was just going with the flow, reading, reading, uh, reading the subjects, like watching the lectures, and just going with the flow. But I thought that, like, <coughs> like a few six months before the exam, I thought by the end of December I will complete all the subjects, and last one month, that is January, would be enough for giving you know the test series. And one month for test series is good enough, right? But what I did not think of is that in the last month itself, you also have to revise. You also have to revise all the topics that you have covered. Along with that, you have to give test series. So that I miscalculated. So then in my next attempt, what I did was from October itself, I started giving subject-wise test series at least. Like subject wise test series you should give from October after covering all the subject some might have different strategies like some people uh, you know buy the test series uh, before one year of the exam itself so that they can give test series along wise the sub along wise uh, the completion of the subjects but I had different strategy I had completed all the subject makes all made all the note and from the October in my next attempt I'm telling about from the October I have started giving a subject wise test series along with the revision and then when I felt much confident about uh, like my subject preparation then I started giving test series because you don't want to waste your test series without having any preparation right you just don't go for you know a full length mock test series without having a knowledge about how in how much you know how much strong your other subjects are because that's a waste of one test series so th th this is my next uh, mistake that i did this mistake was one of my biggest mistake that i felt uh, because our college has uh, given us access to this ace test series ace academy's test series i guess i don't know about other um, uh, other uh, branches like mechanical civil and all but for cac i don't believe gay ace test series is good because in ace test series i was getting around 70 marks okay so what i thought is like i'm getting 70 marks like in cac um, more than 60 if you are getting you are you know you are getting a two digit rank so i was more than happy that i'm getting 70 uh, marks and i had not given any other test series so i i did not have that comparison in my mind so i was only uh, judging my performance from ace test series even though i want to tell everybody that even getting 19 any test series don't assure your two digit rank because it totally depends on the day totally it can get you an idea about your caliber but unfortunately luck is also a factor there and the day what happens so don't judge yourself by your marks you getting in test series give test series for ex excelling yourself in the next test series just just for your you know practice don't evaluate yourself on the basis of test series yes get get the idea that how you are performing in what subject you are giving poor performance what are your strengths all those evaluation is good but just don't come to any conclusion that like what i did like 70 marks i was getting i was happy that i'm getting 70 marks so that's my next mistake my next and very you know important mistake was that i don't want any other future uh, aspirant to have was that i did not uh, what do I say? I did not give enough time uh, for analyzing my performance throughout, you know, throughout my gate preparation. Like, I should have done these few things that I didn't. I should have uh, analyzed what subjects I am good at, what subject I am poor at, what subjects are giving me hard time, what subjects are giving me good marks. I did not analyze this because in the next attempt, what I did was. I knew that few few of the subject, if you know, few subjects questions pop up in the screen, I would feel happy about it. Like I was more comfortable on those subjects. 
so this is something you have to you know get the idea of by giving this test series or solving pyqs and some subjects were like when any of the question will pop up i will just scroll down because i was not comfortable enough so you know so do these things like analyze what are your weak points then what i did is the subjects that were that was giving me hard time i used to revise them more often you know and i used to revise them more often i used to give more of the subject wise test series of those subject then finally i was comfortable on those subjects and it happens practice makes the man perfect i always believe that like after my gate exam this is one uh, uh thing that i have learned is that practice 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 is the key so yeah this is my another mistake and i would end this video by my last mistake that was that i was living in my own bubble you know i was it it is not like that you are the only one giving the gate exam right you are not the only one working hard there are thousands of students who are working harder than you probably for getting the opportunity to study in a tier one college right so never think that you are doing enough it it's one thing that i had done wrong i thought my preparation was good i thought i had done enough pyqs you know because i was living in my own bubble that was one mistake that you should never done you should never do not in any exam not in your life so thank you for um, watching this video i hope this will help a lot of gate aspirants for not repeating these mistakes again and yeah thank you bye bye